What's up guys, I've been Alexa here and recently I just landed on these questions at Quora and so many people were asking how much RAM does a smartphone need? Is 2 gigs of RAM or 4 gigs of RAM enough for a smartphone? And it got to a certain point where even others began asking if 8 gigs or 12 gigs of RAM are enough for a smartphone. Well, I'm not super genius here but I'm gonna try and enlighten you with some stuff i think you should know before buying your next smartphone because of ram or even before dumping your current phone because of ram or you think the apps are not running smoothly on it and before i answer this question you need to know a few things first what is ram how does it work and does it even matter in a smartphone well if you don't know this ram or random access memory if you're dusty is just a primary memory which the processor or cpu first accesses before accessing the main storage and the data which is stored in ram is volatile in nature which means it will be temporarily stored there i know most people out there have this question like if ram is storage then why not use the main storage to store data itself well the answer is that transfer of data to the cpu is first with ram plus when a process has to be executed not all data needs to be saved because only part of it is enough and needed so if storage devices are used then all data saved temporarily will be saved permanently which will fill up your space on the disk first making you wanna format your storage frequently which is annoying in fact if you were tech nerd just like me you probably know how ram works different in phones than in pcs let's say when you download an app and install it it will be first loaded in ram and then it gets executed but that app will always remain in ram up to when you switch to a different app right then this will shift the recent app to the background and the next time you load that app it will be available for faster retrieval and if you have enough ram the apps which you use most will frequently get placed on your ram unless removed but still the question is after knowing all that info how much ram is enough for a smartphone this question might even take hours for me to explain but i'm gonna try and simplify things for you in short terms we know that ram helps you potentially have more apps running simultaneously assuming the processor can keep up with all that as many apps as you want right well i know i'm right and the truth is you don't even need vast amount of ram sorry power users for android but one question for you i want you to ask for yourself now i have one question for you what's the point of having over 15 apps running when your screen will only show you three at once i need that answer in the comments below please make sure to comment and uh, also i have one thing to explain to you like iphones always have like two gigs of ram three gigs of ram but they always perform smoothly than android smartphones with six gigs of ram seven gigs of ram eight gigs of ram and according to me personally two gigs of ram should be the least to think about because you can make calls be on social media switching between multiple apps playing casual games like pubg fortnite code without any issues and if you consider yourself as a power user four to six gigs of ram should be enough for you for a job anything above that i think it's an overkill like 8 gb of ram 12 gigs of ram 30 gigs of ram that's an overkill again ask yourself if you need i i mean to switch between over 80 apps weird right i know it's pretty weird but anyways feel free to share with me your thoughts in the comments and if you have any question i'm always ready to answer drop me a comment i'll be able to reply to each and every comment personally 
and also drop a like if you found this video informative or you learned something today and subscribe to support me grow don't forget to share this video and also check out my blog in the description below and with that said till next time bye bye catch you guys in the next one peace out